Hey yogis, it's Amber from the Desert Daydreamer. Welcome to your evening yoga flow. During this class, we're gonna be winding down and preparing the body and the mind for rest. So if you are ready, go ahead and grab your mat and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, my friends, so we are gonna begin at the back of our mats, seated on your knees, but I want you to tuck your toes under, making sure that your fourth and your fifth toe are untucked because those ones particularly like to curl under. And you're just gonna sit back onto your heels. If this is too much, you can always untuck your toes and just sit right here. But this is a great foot stretch, stretching out the soles of your feet. And we're just gonna sit here for just a few moments. Go ahead and close your eyes, and we're gonna begin our practice with a few mindful breaths. So on your inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. One more time, inhale, reach up. Big breath, fill your lungs. Exhale, let it out. Beautiful job, opening your eyes and you can untuck your toes and sit back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take a child's pose, reaching your hands to the top of your mat, forehead comes down, your knees are together. Feeling supported in your low back. And just taking a moment here. Let all your worries go. Letting whatever happened in your day go. Just focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Awesome job walking your hands back so that you're once again seated on your knees. Bring your hands to your heart. Interlace your fingers. Index fingers are gonna point up and extend your arms up. So your pointer fingers are pointing right up towards the ceiling. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, begin to lean over to the right. And your hips are square here, so you're just leaning with your torso. making sure to slightly pull your left shoulder back. You should be feeling a really nice stretch all along your left side. Two more breaths here. And your exhale brings you back to center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, other side. Leaning over to the left. Two more breaths here. Maybe finding yourself on this last breath, leaning just a little further. And release, awesome job. Coming into your tabletop position, Shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Inhale, arch your back. Maybe look up. Exhale, round, taking your cat cows. Two more, just like that, following your own breath. Inhale, you arch. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, arch your back, drop your belly. Exhale, round, tuck your chin and your tailbone. Finding a neutral spine now. You're gonna come into your puppy pose. So go ahead and reach your hands to the top of your mat. Your hips are staying over your knees 
and then release your forehead down, release your chest down. Stretching out your shoulders, your upper body. This is a great pose for those of us for, who sit for long periods of the day. each exhale trying to let your chest melt down to your mat just a little bit more one more breath and let's release coming back into a tabletop position bringing your right knee back behind you so your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Hold here for just a moment. And now bring that knee out to the side and towards your face, down to your mat, and back around. Go ahead and do that four more times, taking your time here, moving nice and slow, warming up that hip joint, Lots of stress and tension stored in your hips. This is a great way to release that one more time. And after your last round, bring that knee back behind you. And you're going to cross it behind and over your left knee. You might want to wiggle your feet out to the sides just a little bit and then begin to walk your hands back and you're going to come into a seated position, leaving your knees exactly where they are. This is your cow face pose. Now if your knees don't touch, that's completely fine. Don't worry about it. If this is too much, you can always place a block or a Harry Potter sized book under your bottom and that'll be a really great modification. Otherwise, we're going to inhale and you can stay here, or if you'd like a deeper stretch, then on your exhale, begin to walk your hands forward, keeping both of your sit bones grounded. And you're gonna feel a really nice stretch in your left glute. And we're just gonna sit here and relax into this for a few breaths. You can even close your eyes if you'd like. Continuing to focus on your inhales and your exhales. Trying your best to slow them down. job and let's release by walking our hands back you're going to keep your right leg exactly where it is your left foot is going to come onto your mat so your left knee is pointing up inhale reach your right arm up exhale twist to the left grabbing onto your left leg left arm comes behind you with each inhale, you're thinking of lengthening, reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling, each exhale twisting a little bit further. Making sure both of your sit bones are grounded. Beautiful, let's release. Coming back into that tabletop position 
and we're gonna go right into the other side. So left knee comes back behind you, toes are pointing up, and let's take those hip circles five times. And if your hip joint cracks at all, that's completely normal. As long as you're not feeling any sharp pain, you are good to go. Two more. And after your last one, bring that knee back behind you and then cross it over and behind your right knee. Winging out your feet just a little bit and let's make our way back nice and slow into our cow face. Again, option to stay here, sitting upright. Otherwise, inhale and exhale. Begin to walk your hands forward, folding over your crossed legs. Again, if your knees don't touch each other, don't worry about it. With time and practice, it will come. Just take a few more breaths here. And on your next exhale, we're going to release. Taking that twist on the other side. So the sole of the right foot comes to your mat, the knee is pointing up. Both of your sits bones are grounded. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Right arm comes behind you. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, you twist. And you never want to force a twist. You want to use your breath. Beautiful, coming back to center. You're going to simply extend your legs out in front of you. Scooch forward a little bit so that you can make your way down onto your back. The soles of your feet are planted on your mat, knees are pointing up. You're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee. Thread your hands through that little keyhole you just created and pull your left knee into your chest. Your right foot is flexed to protect your knee. Taking your reclined pigeon pose, stretching out the right glute. Two more breaths here. Now keeping your legs in the same position, 
you're going to release, bringing your foot, your left foot to the mat, extend your arms out to the side, and again, keeping your legs where they are, let both knees fall over to the right. You can gaze up if you'd like, or you can shift your gaze over to the left. This is a very gentle twist. We're gonna just relax into this. Close your eyes. Allow the space in between your eyebrows to soften. Time to release, bringing your legs back up to center. Uncross your legs. And we're gonna take that reclined pigeon on the other side. So left ankle crosses over the right knee, grabbing onto your right thigh and pulling it into your chest. Left foot is flexed and your left knee is pointing out to the side. Keeping your legs in the same position, right foot comes down to the mat, arms extend out to the side, and both knees fall to the left. So your left foot is right on the outside of your right knee. If you'd like to deepen the twist just a little bit, look over to the right. Slowly, mindfully, let's release. Hugging both knees into your chest now. Maybe adding a gentle rock side to side. Give yourself a big self-love hug. And when you're ready, make your way into your Shavasana. Both legs coming out to the sides of your mat. Arms extended down, palms facing up. Close your eyes. Inhale. And exhale out. Drawing awareness to your forehead, 
and just softening that area of your face. Allowing your jaw to relax down. Your tongue falls from the roof of your mouth. Noticing the air fill your belly as you inhale. Noticing your belly drop as you exhale. Just envisioning all the tension leaving your body with each exhale. Completely surrendering to your mat. And I invite you to stay here as long as you need to. Enjoying this sense of peace, this sense of relaxation that you've created during this practice. It's been a joy and an honor to guide you. I wish you a restful evening. Namaste.